On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the new 2020 Specialized Crossroads 2.0. This is the mid-level version of the Specialized Crossroads Comfort Hybrid Bike, and we're going to go into the design, some of the features, and then of course find out what it weighs. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So taking a look at this bike, the Specialized Crossroads is a very comfortable position bike. And that's kind of the key here. So hybrids generally come in three different varieties. They come in a fitness or performance hybrid such as the Specialized Cirrus. They come in a dual sport style hybrid which is kind of a mix between off-road and road. And that's called the Cross Trail from Specialized. And then finally, you have the crossroads, which this is a cross between a comfort bike, kind of like a cruiser, and the ability to do uh, some great rides and have fun. So this bike might be focused somewhere around that 70% on-road, but you could still take it off-road with its high volume tires we'll take a look at later, as well as the suspension seat post that's on it that's gonna make it nice and comfortable. But this crossroads uh, model has been around for a long time but this is the brand new frame for 2020. And in previous years, in the last few, they had two different models. They had a model called the Alibi, which was a very low maintenance, you know, solid tire, nice bike, one of my favorites. And then they had the Crossroads, which was sort of a skinny tire, but comfort style bike. Now, the Alibi C has a very similar frame to what this is. So I imagine Specialized took some of that frame and then brought pneumatic tires and some of the comfort of the crossroads to make the new 2020 crossroads. So the old crossroads and the alibi are both gone, but this new crossroads is here and I really like it. So this has what Specialized calls their A1 aluminum frame. It's a really beautiful frame. It comes in a low step like this bike or a standard frame as well. But this particular one is set up with their UV lilac color, which is really hard to see in today's light, but it kind of has a reflective purple behind this white, and uh, it is really nice looking. Now, this frame is of course internally cable routed, which is a nice thing to see, and I still like the fact that they toss water bottle cage mounts here, even though it's a size small bike. And then it's also gonna have setups to be able to run a rear rack, and then it does have their hidden fender mounts. You can actually get fenders for the front and rear that are custom fit for this bike. And the really nice thing about that is you don't have to see any of the hardware. Now the front of course is set up for fenders as well and it has a very nice looking steel bladed fork which goes through an inch and an eighth head tube which is of course threadless to this very nice looking alloy cockpit. And I gotta say, I really like the rise on these handlebars. It's actually 80 millimeters of rise. It's a 31.8 bar clamp and then it's got a 15 degree back sweep. So if you look there, you can see the uh, handlebar is actually tucked back just a little bit. For a drivetrain on the bike is all Shimano. And this is an awesome upgrade. So in some bikes like this in the past, they would cross, you know, no name brands with brand names like Shimano. But in the back, you're gonna see this Torney TX rear derailleur, which is a basic but very functional rear derailleur. It's gonna actually run a cassette, which is awesome. This is an HG 200 cassette. It's seven speed, 11 to 32. Of course, you're running through a seven speed KMC Z7 chain. You've got a Torney front derailleur, and then you're gonna have a Shimano Torney crank set here. This crank set, which is of course, a triple up front running a 48, 38, 28 tooth chain ring sizes. And then you're gonna have Specialized own city platform pedal, which you can see will work with sandals, with tennis shoes, pretty much anything, and has reflectivity. Now, what I like about this drivetrain, aside from the fact that it's all Shimano, which is a nice thing, is that the gearing range is gonna be awesome. So with that wide range in the back seven speed cassette, and then of course the crank set on this, you're gonna be able to get up virtually any hill with this bike with no problem. Now, while we're looking at the back, we did talk about the suspension seat post, but that's a nice thing to have. On the 1.0 version of the Crossroads, there is none, but on the 2.0 and above, you get the suspension seat post, which then goes to the specialized body geometry 
gel saddle. And this is a pretty comfortable saddle for the type of bike that you're purchasing. Now, keep in mind, if you're looking at a bike like this, it may sound silly to buy cycling shorts, but those honestly make more difference than just about any saddle you can get. Now for wheels, this runs what Specialized calls their 2.0 wheel set. Basically, it's a wide rim with J-Bend spokes, 32 holes going to these disc brake hubs, and these are standard QR hubs with six volt disc to run the mechanical disc brakes that are on the bike. They've got 160 millimeter rotors and work just fine. Now for tires, you're running the Specialized Nimbus tire. This is the Nimbus 2. It's actually an Armadillo Reflect tire, which what that means, Armadillo is a very, very durable casing that they use. You've got the reflectivity, the silver stripe that goes around. And in fact, the whole frame has some reflectivity on it as well. But these tires are going to be super durable. And then you can see they're actually 700 by 45C tires, which is a nice, large, cushy setup. And I should talk about that. So most of these high quality hybrid bikes like this no longer use a suspension fork. And the reason for that is when you're sitting on these, most of your weight balance is actually going to the back of the bike. And in doing so, what that means is you have less weight on the front and that suspension fork actually isn't all that functional. So if they jump you up in tire size, you get more comfort than you would have had with a suspension fork and you can save a couple of pounds over a bike that has a real basic suspension fork on it. Now this bike is definitely really well set up for the hybrid rider. I, I love the position of this. Uh, again, coming from the Alibi, I'm really happy to see that they've gone to that style of position on the bike and the frame just looks super nice. So now that we've taken a look at this bike, let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. The actual weight of the 2020 Specialized Crossroads 2.0 comes in and weighs 28.66 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the 2020 Specialized Crossroads 2.0. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know you enjoyed the video.